I was thinking about the music for our routine. Really? We're going to skate to one song, one song only. So I'm going to take my clones to the Skull Town Road. I'm going to ride till I touch the floor. I got the arc stars in the back. Blue stock is attached. Got the white backpack with the helmet white to match. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash and Ragnar here, and today we're going to be talking about the new Kings Canyon changes going into Season 14. We know an entire breakdown of the map, new choke points, and brand new Skull Town rework, so we're going to cover all that. We're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about Apex. So let's go ahead and start talking about how Kings Canyon is going to be going over some major changes, and if you've been watching my channel for the last year, you probably have seen this already, but the first thing to go over is that Skull Town is back. It's similar to pre-Season 5, but it is also a lot smaller there's also little divots on the outside that you can go in they almost seem like little bunkers and it's a completely walled in area this is due to the salvage operation after loba joined the games and actually blew up the entire area there won't be thunderdome coming back it is just skull town and like i said it is much smaller but if you've been watching my channel like i said you probably already knew about this but there's about nine other things that have been changed with the map number two is going to be that the upper level of the cages have been removed as you can see here it's a little bit more flat there's only about two stories to it overall it makes it much less of a building and more of a quick sniper outpost now moving over towards the hillside outpost you'll actually notice that this little choke point that used to be really tight and have a lot of grenades thrown into it has actually been widened quite a bit the ground is still being worked on as you can see with the renders and models but overall it is vastly larger but then when we move over to hillside outpost the entire area has pretty much been demolished you may remember this as having two different of buildings along with zip lines going up but now it is just a wide open ravine where a ton of fighting is going to be happening. And then once we go further south down the map, there used to be a little canyon where you could actually usually get a res off. That has actually been completely walled off and blocked now. It is one giant cliff. Going further south, you'll actually notice that the tunnel from River Center to the area northwest of Market has been completely blocked off as well. You won't be able to go running in between those buildings. And to the east of it where there was that canyon, there is now a new elevated walkway above the river. Now going even further south and flipping on the other side, right where the marketplace is has also been completely reworked. There is a new choke point from caves to market, probably to allow a new meta to be played. And a lot of the entryways to market have actually been closed off. For example, from caves to market is now completely covered. So while we do get a really new big POI along with some leaving, what this has done essentially is change a lot of the choke points and reworked the way that we'll be playing the game to hopefully make Kings Canyon feel a little bit bigger and not as third party heavy as the choke points have been removed or made much more difficult to third party effectively. Do keep in mind in season 14 we will be playing on king's canyon for the first split it will also be our main map for the first week to try out all these new features now for the second split we should be going on storm point and the reason that is is whenever a new map is introduced it stays in the rotation for one year until the next map comes in we saw that with olympus obviously we saw it with world's edges it was only one of two maps when it came in but the same has been seen all year long with storm point and in season 15 we are getting the new moon map but they are going to be probably doing a mid-season update to storm point we've already got one last season for Olympus. Kings Canyon is getting completely reworked this season. It's always possible we see something with World's Edge and Fragment as that has been teased, but I'm going in the direction of Storm Point. It'll be its last season of being in the rotation before being rotated out with the new moon map. And there are a couple of possibilities of what we see on Storm Point. We do know that they have been setting up a ton of Bangalore lore, and we do know that there was a worked out Bangalore Town Takeover right below Barometer. It is absolutely massive. It's about three floors. It's a military installation, and there are zip lines running up and down, but it's unfortunate that we do not know 100% on whether or not this was scrapped. Something else that has been continuously popping up at season after season is the Goliath. There was an image leaked before Stormpoint ever came out. Ezra RC, who is a notable leaker, also had his own image of the Goliath. Then there was another one that showed it as big as a two-story building. And finally, there is a new leak that actually shows the animations of the Goliath being just as big as we saw in the one where it's as big as a building. It would make sense for a mid-season update that is themed around hunting to introduce a new form of wildlife in the game, either as a single-player PvE element or to really change up the meta on Storm Point and make it much more dangerous going into the second split. But we'll have to wait and see if it formally comes into the game. Let me know down below, guys. Are you excited about the King's Canyon changes? And do you like the idea of the Goliath coming to Storm Point? Or would you rather just see that map no longer be in rotation? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands. And we'll see you out there.